Hi there, and welcome. I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, and welcome to my live Q&A. So you can always put your questions right here in the chat. I can see them pop up right on my screen, so I encourage you to interact and engage and ask anything that you want in regards to fueling your body better for better body function, how to enjoy your life with less stress, more joy, and greater happiness and better body function, reducing pain and inflammation through the foods that you provide for your body. So right now today, I'm just in the middle of presenting the Balanced Living Academy here in Siesta Key, Florida. And I just love bringing this health and wellness information to the masses. And we are just having an incredible session today. And so I'm just taking a break right now on our lunch to be here with you. So thank you for joining me here. Now you can also um, see more information at my website at drstacycooper.com and the link is right there on the screen for you. So also my previous episodes of Ask Dr. Stacy, where we talk about all different um, aspects of fueling your body better. It's not just about your body, but your mind, your spirit, and your overall health and wellness as well. So you can see all the previous episodes at my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page. And you can also see it on my YouTube channel. So it's all over social media. So you can find me anywhere that you like to visit. So today we're talking about nourishing your body and restaurant options. As we are traveling and not at home and not in my own kitchen, then sometimes it can be a challenge when you're eating out, not just, you know, once a week or once a month or once every few months, but now being on the road, this has become the norm. And you have to remember that restaurant owners and their staff they want you to be happy. They want you to be satisfied and they want you to come back. And so they are there to please you. So if you have um, uh, allergies, certainly, if you have any health intolerances and food intolerances, or if you have any special requests, don't hesitate to ask. They are there to serve. They want to have you be happy so that you will refer other people to their establishment and they want to serve the best that they can. And so that is the point. Don't hesitate to ask. Now, there also are restaurants becoming much more aware of health issues that the public is having and they are wanting to try to accommodate for that. So you will see gluten-free options and other um, vegan options, vegetarian options offered on menus. And so those are the, some of the things that you may want to start to investigate or start to choose from when you aren't at home in your own kitchen and you want to make healthier choices rather than a burger with a side of fries. Maybe you want a side of veggies or a salad or, or something like that instead. So I wanted to share with you something that we came across um, as we're here in Siesta Key. And we found a beautiful French cafe. And of course, when you think French, you think croissants and crepes and this sort of thing, lots of butter, lots of flour, and all those inflammatory foods. I was so pleasantly surprised when they had buckwheat crepes. So they're not made from wheat, but they're made from buckwheat. And it was a vegetarian crepe, so it was filled with eggplant and peppers and onions, all gently sauteed and then wrapped in this buckwheat crepe. It was amazing. It was just, I was so thrilled. And it came with a side of fruit because uh, it was breakfast time that we were we were there. Um, or you could have a side of greens, or you could have um, whatever side you would choose. But the fruit was just so fresh and so luscious. And of course, coming from Canada to Florida in April, um, the fruit was just that much more tasteful than what we get at home. And so I wanted to share with you some of the benefits of buckwheat. So go ahead and uh, click the like button there or send me some love. Ask any of your questions here. And um, like I said, you can also see the previous episodes at my Facebook page, Lifestyle Balance Solutions. So buckwheat is one of the most nutrient rich grains. It is not wheat, uh, as the name might infer. It is gluten free and um, you can use it like wheat. 
It has a beautiful, delicate, nutty flavor. So it's very, very versatile. And the health benefits are incredible. Um, it's not a true cereal, but you can use it like wheat. Now, in regards to buckwheat, it decreases your total cholesterol levels as well as your LDL cholesterol levels. So that's the bad cholesterol. So we certainly want to get that down. So you can use buckwheat to help aid your body in doing this. It improves blood flow to the heart due to its high content of the blood pressure lowering mineral potassium. It's a great source of potassium. Another very important thing about buckwheat is that it is high in magnesium. Now, many gluten-free diets are deficient in magnesium. So buckwheat is an amazing grain that you can add to your repertoire and help to boost your magnesium levels. This is a very important mineral for so many things within your body. And it has a massive magnesium content. So I really encourage you to give it a try. Um, now, buckwheat is also great addition because it is high in fiber. Fiber is very important for digestive health, intestinal tract health, and reducing inflammation through your intestines. So fiber is really important. Buckwheat is also a high quality protein. So when you're considering a vegan diet and eliminating animal sources of protein, it is important to get your vegetarian or, or plant-based sources of protein. Now, plant-based proteins are not complete proteins. So they won't have all of the amino acids that are essential for your body to function optimally. That's why you combine a couple of proteins together to end up with the full complement of the essential amino acids that your body needs. Now, buckwheat is a very high quality protein. So you don't need to combine it to the same degree that you would other plant proteins. So this makes it a great grain for diabetics because it also helps to reduce the insulin response and it stabilizes blood sugar levels to a much greater degree. This is very important in diabetes and the diabetic connection. When we talk about gluten-free foods, what happens is, is instead of using wheat to create the bread or crackers or, you know, that type of, of food source, with the gluten-free, they end up using potato starch, tapioca starch, or rice flour, which are also highly refined flours. Now, Dr. William Davis, author of the Wheat Belly book, he had given a presentation in my hometown, and one of the questions asked was, okay, we understand about wheat and its implications and why we shouldn't be eating it, but what about gluten-free? Now, Dr. Davis's response to this question was, think of wheat as a cigarette. It isn't good for your health, and he went through the, all the reasons why and the research that he's done and all the benefits. And now he says, so if you consider wheat to be a cigarette, think of gluten-free, as a cigarette with a filter. It's still a cigarette. Now the point being that the gluten-free products, because of what they're made with, tend to spike your blood sugar levels to the same degree that wheat does. And that is the diabetic connection and the insulin response. And that is why he recommends that you don't consume gluten-free products because of how they're made. Food industries knew that there was a niche for consumers looking for gluten-free products. They jumped on that bandwagon. They found a way to exclude gluten, but the end resulting product still is not healthy for you. So be very careful about that. Now, what I do recommend is that you check into your grains and find things that are gluten-free. And I do have that resource available on my website at drstacycooper.com, and you can see that right there on the screen. So as I mentioned, in restaurants and eating out, start to take a look away from your normals and what you would generally choose on a menu and start looking to more greens in your diet, less fat, less deep frying and more um, whole foods, less processing and higher nutrient content. And you will start to find that your body will begin to function better as you swap out the bad fuels for great fuels. Now, that's one of the things that I teach at the Balanced Living Academy that we're doing right here.
The next one I will be hosting will be in St. George, Ontario on Friday, June 2nd and Saturday, June 3rd. So I certainly invite you to see me there and join us. You can find the information. I'll just put that up here now for you. You can find all the information about the live event at so balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash live in capital block letters. And that will take you to the information page where you can also receive your tickets for the live event in St. George on Friday, June 2nd and Saturday, June 3rd. And the early bird pricing is available right now. So you can go ahead and purchase your tickets so you don't miss out and that before it sells out. At the Balanced Living Academy, we talk about how to fuel your body better, how to swap out the bad fuels for great fuels. And you also get to experience all the rest, many of the recipes from my cookbook over the course of the two days. And then your body gets to feel how differently it functions when you change how you're fueling your system. We also talk about what your body needs what your body does with what you give it. So now that you know what happens on the inside, it's so much easier to make your choices. Because if I just tell you, don't eat the bread with your pasta, and you love that, you're gonna say, well, I'm not giving that up. But when you understand what the wheat does on the inside, and then you then choose to not go down that path, and I give you the alternatives and the substitutes that you can use that are still delicious and nutritious, now it's so much easier to make your choices because now your willpower is coming from within. It's desire now. And this then pushes you forward and moves you in the direction that you want to go to improve your health and wellness. But it's not just about food because you can fuel your body well 100% of the time. But if other areas of your life are stressed, your body still won't function well. So we also talk about quieting the mind and quieting the body. There's a chair yoga session included in the program. We talk about exercise and the benefits of stretching and strengthening and the benefits of each of those. There's a full head to toe stretching routine that's provided in the course of the program. It's also written right out in your workbook so you can take it home. It's demonstrated for you so you can take it home and implement it the very next day. We also share with you my five-step clean living formula, and that's where we take things further into balancing all aspects of your life. So I do encourage you to check out the information for the Balanced Living Academy. The link is right there on the screen at balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash live, and L-I-V-E is in capital block letters to get you to that information page. So any questions that you have, feel free to submit them to me. You can email them to me right from the website, Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com. And I will share here with you weekdays at 1215. That's 915 a.m. Pacific. And on Ask Dr. Stacy, my live. So here's to experiencing better body function and enhanced vitality naturally. Now I've got to get back to my class and I will see you soon. Have a great day.